Okay, there we go. All right, so we just got out of seeing San Andreas. Yeah, saw it with Nicole. This movie puts to test the question of can Dwayne The Rock Johnson, professional wrestler, outact someone? And the answer is yes. Yes. What did you think about this movie, Nicole? I liked it, except for that second base joke. That <laughs> was not necessary whatsoever. I just think if you're if you're gonna be in a disaster movie, you're gonna make jokes, you may as well make a billion other ones. But and yeah. that woman, that every her face was horrible. Like every time she's trying to make a um, a sad expression, so yeah, it's just smiling. <laughs> My baby. I love the fact that she's dead. I couldn't have waited for her to go. I hated her guts. Oh my god. Anyways, but the movie was really good, except for that second base and not bad acting. Only the mother was really bad. Everyone else was good. Okay. Um, the big question of this review: Was it better than Paul Blart Mall Cop Two? Hard to say. It's not really the same kind of a movie. Like, this one's a disaster movie where everyone dies, and the Paul Blart is a comedy. Yeah. So I guess, on genre level, they're kind of the same. Yeah. They're both good. You like them both? Yeah. yeah I like them both, too. Um, what else? What else can you say about this movie? It's about... It's the same story as... Day after, yeah, day after, day after tomorrow, tomorrow in 2012, same freaking story. Yeah. Um, about a guy who, oh, yeah. Actually, the story about this is about a disgruntled helicopter pilot who through a series of explosions orchestrates the biggest earthquake in history just so that he can get back with his wife. Yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah. 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 Dwayne Johnson sets up the earthquake so we can get back with his wife. Yeah. And who divorced him so she could marry Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four movie. Yeah, and the rich guy is a total asshole. Just left his daughter there. Actually, because... well, I don't know. They, they try to make it seem like he's a good dude at first. Like, yeah. literally in the first scene, he's with the daughter of the wife, and he tells her, hey, you know, I'm not going to try and be your dad or anything like that, right? I get the fact that you and your mom have your thing. And then she's upset that, she le that he leaves her to die. Like, he literally just told her, you're just a friend to me. I don't care. And he's got to go save his own skin, but yeah. apparently that's a punishable crime that God throws a fucking oil tanker on your head and crushes your ass on a bridge. This is what happens when you <laughs> leave my kid in a fucking car. <laughs> yeah, we drop an oil tanker on you, so yeah, that would really um, cement the fact that you suck at, at being a parent. Yep. Yeah. Um, some continuity problems, like... One time they were on this boat and they like drove under this thing and then the roof got ripped off and then the, and then yeah. and then they go and then the same boat they were inside of a building trying to save their kids and then they drive out and the roof gets ripped off again yeah. and I'm just thinking what the fuck did they forget where which part of the movie this was in or yeah. did they just not care but obviously it's a movie where Dwayne Johnson plays a helicopter pilot yeah. and doesn't give a shit about his air force so much so that when he lands the helicopter he immediately goes into a store and changes his uniform because fuck the police <laughs> But it was a great movie. I recommend it. It's just that dumb joke. Just avoid it as much as yeah, possible. Yeah, there's one cheesy joke in the whole movie, and the rest of it's totally serious. Yeah. Um, there's no blood, but there's tons of explosions, and we see some guy get set on fire. So fuck that guy, whoever it was. He got set on fire. It's a chef. Chefs, yeah. Okay. Chefs are flammable. <laughs> My, this movie taught me that. Chefs yep. can be set on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what would you rate this out of 10? I would give it an 8 out of 5. 8 out of 5. All right. So mathematically, that makes no fucking sense. <laughs> so I would give the same score 8 out of 5. Yeah. 